I'm shooting with the Sony Cybershot HX90V. I am making up some leads. I have existing stuff, so I got my lead already made. And what I need to do is solder this on to the parallel battery. These are two 3.6 volts creating 3.6 volts. And what I am going to be doing is modifying it to this solar light. The solar panel is not going to be strong enough to charge both three batteries. But I am going to take the solar panel off and run an extension cable to a different solar panel that's going to run four of these. In the background, you may see the other one right here waiting for the glue to dry, already modified. I am going to show you how I did that. It is very simple to do, and that's the project I'm working on. Let me make myself comfortable. I hope my hands are not in the way. I'm going to be melting some solder, and I am going to be tinning my lead. I am going to be now raising my soldering iron up to a higher level. I'm going to put solder on the tin. I'm going to create more solder and now I'm going to melt the solder, make my joint. As I hold this, it should dry and I'm going to repeat the same for the other side. That is holding it. I mark my negative and my positive in advance. Nothing's hooked up on the other end or the leads are on. I'm going to repeat the same process. For some reason, I feel this is a little too short to work with. I'm going to strip it down just a little more. And that's where I'm going to work with it. My problem now is can I get some paper behind it to protect the battery? I'm good. I am now going to take tape, tape all this up, and protect it for the outside weather. Any color tape you have, I tape over my leads. And I tape over the other leads in the back. Now what I'm going to do is go over this particular part with tape and then I'm going to go over the whole thing entirely, make sure I get everything nice and sealed. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit so it stays where the tape is at. I'm happy my battery's done and I'm ready for my next step. Start to disconnect your solar light from the solar panel. I leave enough length so I can always come back and re-solder. I am going to take off the panel and put it on back later on. I am going to put my screw on gently so it holds and put this to the side with the others and take off the four screws that are located in here. All you need to do is just gently open this up. And what you're going to do now is you're going to find an area, which I'm going to take a drill bit. I'm going to drill a hole right about here. I need to widen that hole, so I'm going to just take something that I can get into the hole and make it a little wider. I take my leads. I could twist them together because I'll redo this over later. Take some measurements. Take a stripper and you're going to strip the leads. You don't have to use a lot of pressure, just enough pressure to get on there. They're very simple to strip apart. Work on one at a time and you want to make these a little longer than usual. So you can wrap red for red. 
if you're worried about this area here, what you can do is take some tape. You could take some glue. You could put some glue here. Up to you to seal the hole. And what you're going to do is just take the screws and just basically, uh, you know, close on up. And we're going to glue the next step. We're going to use Gorilla White and water is your friend with glue. You just put water on there like so. You prepared it. And what you're going to do is find a great spot for your battery. Put glue like so. Don't have to be a lot of glue, just enough so it can get on there and do its job. It's going to foam and move a little. And then half an hour later, we're good to go. I now go outside and I take this end and that end and I hook it up to a larger solar panel that will do the job for all four. So I got my leads all in there. All I need to do is restrip and tie in. Okay, so I got all my cables that are wrapped around and I just take my negative leads, do the best I can, and I'll tape it up later. And all I gotta do is just wrap this around nice and secure. When I know everything is working 100%, I'm gonna come back and get the soldering iron out and solder this 100% correctly. But for now, this will do. And we'll see if all four solar panels will hold the charge on one. If not, what I'll do is I'll increase the solar panel upstairs. So we're all hooked up. Just going to have to tape this up and there we go. And all this will be cleaned up soon.